this is Realtor Mike Thomas uh, here about the market report starting the new year, January 2023. Welcome to 2023. You're probably all wondering what the market has done. Uh, pretty excited to show you some details about what's going on right here in our marketplace in Southeast Florida. So up on my screen right now, I have Broward County, Florida. And as you notice, this is single family homes for the month of January, 2023. And last year, 2022, what the difference was, did we sell less houses? The answer is yes. But what we're looking at is the home prices because most people don't care how many houses real estate agents sell. They wanna know what the price is that they have to pay for a house. So let's get started. So the median sales price of a house in 2023 was $540,000. Right here over last year, $500,000, which is up 8% over January of 2022, single family homes. Um, so that means that you're paying $40,000 more for a home on the average uh, if you waited one year. Um, as far as supply goes, we're now at a three month supply. Last year, we were at a 1.1 month supply of inventory homes. That just means that a house takes three months to sell instead of 1.1 months to sell and in Broward County right here. And that's for single family homes. Let's take a look at townhouses and condominiums. Here's townhouses and condominiums right here. And we're looking at a median sales price of 200 and almost $270,000 versus $240,000 last year, up 12.5% uh, over last year. So if you bought in January of 2022, you paid uh, on the average $240,000 for a townhouse or condo. And um, this year in January, you paid almost $270,000 for a condo. Now again, inventory is up. Uh, generally, an average in inventory, which calls a buyer's market or a seller's market, is normally around five months, five and a half months. We're still at 3.3 months. So if somebody came to me and said, Mike, I want you to sell my house or townhouse in Broward County or my condo, we are looking at about a three-month sale time at the current price of a medium sales price of $270,000. Now, medium sale prices are always great because it takes out the highs and the lows and just looks at what are about you know, 80, 90% of the people uh, buying out there and averages those out. Because sometimes a property that sold very, very high um, can throw off some numbers and a property that, that sold very, very low can throw off some numbers as well. So let's take a look at Palm Beach County. Here in Palm Beach County, we are at single family homes, 2023 versus 2022. Uh, we're still in the month of January. Uh, and so now we're looking at a sales price of 582,500 for a single family home. Median sale price right here. Um, over last year, 2022, when the market was extremely hot, um, the price was 10.6% less over last year. So the prices went up 10.6% on a single family home. And these are real numbers to look at where everybody's talking about the doom and gloom, the market's crashing. I'm not seeing it here. I'm seeing real estate prices continue to rise here in Southeast Florida and Palm Beach, Broward, Miami, Martin and St. Lucie County. Um, townhouses and condominiums, um, we are looking at $299,000 medium sales price versus last year, 265. So prices are up 12.8% here in Palm Beach County for townhouses and condominiums. Uh, it is taking longer to sell, of course, um, but the average is 5.5 months uh, to sell a property. Uh, that's the national average. Here in Southeast Florida, we sell a little faster. So Martin County, 
right here. Uh, still in the month of January, single family homes, 2023 versus 2022. Um, went up 9.7% over January of last year to $574,000 for median sales price over last year, which was only $523,000 or so. So as you can see, prices are still going up here in South Florida. Uh, townhouses and condos, the same. And it actually went up huge, 26%. So if you bought last year in January in 2022 for 250000 that same place would be costing you $315,000 today. Now again, homes stay on the market a little longer as prices continue to rise. Um, if the prices were right now at 250000 I'm sure that this uh, number would be a lot lower. So we are seeing more homes on the market for sale. But again, what I'm looking at is what is the price of homes? What are things costing out there? Because most people don't care how much we have on inventory. Um, I mean, it does matter, but it's not that of a big deal to buyers they re, and they don't care how long the home has to sit on the market what they're care what most people can care about what buyers care about is how much do they have to pay for the for the house or townhouse or condo for the property so let's take a look at st lucie county uh st lucie county 4.9 percent up over last year so for that same property that you could have bought last year in January for 351,000 is now 368,000 and, and change. Uh, it is taking longer to sell, of course. There is more inventory, of course, but prices are up. Versus townhouses and condominiums up 5.1%, which is generally healthy. Between here in Florida, anywhere from about seven to 10% is a normal appreciation for, for properties here in Southeast Florida. Uh, the national average is actually a little bit lower around five to 7%, but here we are townhouses and condominiums, January of 2023 versus 2022, uh, up five and a half, five point one 5.1%. The last year, if you bought a townhouse or condominium, for two hundred and fifty-five thousand uh, today, it would cost you two hundred and sixty-eight thousand uh, dollars. Staying on the market longer, of course, almost four months versus one month last year. Um, and here in Miami-Dade County, uh, prices for single-family homes in January twenty twenty-three versus twenty twenty-two up four point eight percent. So if you bought a house, the medium sale price was 520,000. Today it's 545,000. So you're spending $25,000 more waiting for one year. Um, and I do wanna talk about one thing too, and that's interest rate, but I'm gonna to go to it after I finish this report. So prices are going up. It is taking four months to sell versus 1.8 months. On the market, the inventory is definitely up over last year. And townhouses and condominiums in January 2023 uh, is now $400,000 versus $360,000. So if you bought last year in January for $360,000, your property has gone up $40,000 in one year, 11.1%. Uh, condominiums and townhouses are staying on the market longer, 4.4 months. So if a seller came to me and said, how long do you think it's going to take my townhouse or condo to sell? I would say count on about four and a half months versus last year. It was only 2.9 months, so closer to three months. And the interest rate does make a difference. But my personal point of view as a professional real estate agent of 30 years um, is this. You're losing $40,000 worth of appreciation to save maybe $5,000 worth of, of 
interest rate. You may be paying a little bit more in interest rate, but my, my advice or opinion, uh, my opinion is um, I wouldn't lose on, lose out on $40,000 to save, you know, two or $3,000 on interest. It doesn't make any sense. So if you're looking to buy here in Southeast Florida, Miami, Dade, Broward, Palm Beach, Martin, or St. Lucie County, these numbers show that it's better to buy now than to wait for the interest rate to fall. So that's my personal opinion on what I think the market is doing. Of course, you make up your own opinion and your own mind about what you want to do and what you're capable of doing. Uh, but this is the market report for January 2023. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for other important information that will help and guide you in making this good, a good decision of buying real estate here in Southeast Florida.